all my subscribers how have you been i am so sorry that it has been so long but when you get to law school you'll understand i have been i'm actually in my office so surprise i accepted a job here at a law firm it's a boutique law firm in atlanta and <clears throat> sorry of the hiccups it's crazy anyways i'm gonna make this short because i have to get back to work but um, I just want to give you guys an update. 1L year, grades, okay. I'm still going through it with grades. However, um, I did want to let you all know, and things happen in life. This, the whole point of this um, vlog is to be positive and promote positivity. But um, my uncle passed away two days before my law exam, so that really affected my grades. They were a lot lower than last semester and um, so let's go through it I'll just start with the lowest grade contracts I love my teacher she was my favorite teacher actually but I struggled with her exams because the first semester I was really sick during that time I was really sick that was when I was sickest when I took her her, her midterm which was 30% of the grade so I got 75 in that class I know some people who got a 70 who had the same grade as me as far as the midterm. So I'm not mad at the 75. Um, next grade, and I'm going from the bottom to the top. <laughs> next grade was legal writing, which is four credits. Contracts weighed the most, with coming in at five credits. Legal writing was the next, um, coming in at uh, four credits. Uh, and here's the thing about law school, the curve can affect you going up or down. In legal writing, it took my grade down. I actually earned a raw score of an 81, um, which as you know is a little B, but I five people had an 81, so that took me down to 79. Needless to say, I was not happy about that, but it is what it is. Next, um, 80. I had an 80 in two classes. One is property, which is four credits, which was the same as legal writing, and the other one was con law. I got 80 in both of those classes. I'm gonna reserve my thoughts about that property. I would have sworn that would be the one that I did low in, but I did well in it, thank God. And con law, 80, I was hoping for more like an 85. But it is what it is with the curve. You never really know, like you, like like I said, where you're gonna end up. Um, as far as, so I had those two 80s, um, the uh, 79, the 75. Now there's one grade I'm waiting for, and I don't want to tell y'all, of course, I will tell y'all eventually uh, what it is, but right now I'm disputing it, and this professor, I was told there was an error with my grade um, twice by the school, so I'm waiting on that. So in the meantime, right now, I'm right around a 3.0. Um, it's not bad for, you know, law school grades. Uh, law school grades are more difficult to get A's in than your regular, um, you know, like your regular undergraduate degree. However, I am on the cusp of losing my scholarship. So that being said, it's gonna depend on what this dispute turns out to be. And, and, and not only that, because a three, I think it's like a 3.1 I have to be at to keep my scholarship, which is right at the 50 percentile mark, like top half of the class. So, um, top of the class, the curve ranks between 81 and 83, so it usually always falls. The top 50 percentile always falls within that 81 to 83 range for my school. Um, anyway, safe to say, if I lose my scholarship, it's gonna be some big problems. So right now, um, I'm just, you know, and here's the thing with law school. You know, when you take a conditional scholarship, you take that risk. I'm doing great. I'm working. I'm in my office. I'm doing great things in the work. I love the work that I do. I work for an insurance defense firm right now. It's very difficult for one else to get a paid internship at a law firm. So despite the fact that my grades are a little bit lower and I was pretty much a solid B student, you can do it. And this is just goes to show that even if I do lose my scholarship or I have to transfer or if I have to take a semester off, it is what it is. The grind is what it is. Not every com everybody completes law school in three years. I'm struggling with, you know, a lot of obstacles that a lot of people aren't. I, 
also add to that 10 years of not being in that school that, you know, kind of, it sets you back. I'm not going to lie. Have you taken so much time off of between undergrad and uh, law school, you know, you got to get your brain working again. You know, it's just like being in those patterns of studying and what your study habits are. You have new study habits by the time, you, you know, you take eight years off of school, you got new study habits. So I think, um, you know, all of that kind of affected me along with being sick in fall and my uncle passing this semester. I am just happy that I completed <laughs> my first year. But anyways, like I said, I love my job. Um, we do insurance defense, real estate, construction defects. Um, we do, you know, a lot of stuff. And, I'm, and my insurance background helped me get this job. You know, so at the end of the day, it's about what you've done, your experience, how much of a go-getter you are, how good you are as an interviewer. So, you know, I just want to let, you know, you're going to hear a lot of things on these websites, top law schools, uh, you know, law school numbers. You're going to hear about all kind of stuff and people being catty and, oh, what kind of grades did you get, whatever. That is not the end all be all. And that's why I made this YouTube channel for you all who are in similar situations to me. I'm an older student. I have a learning disability. It is what it is. But we, we, we strive and we, uh, we're resilient and, you know, we overcome obstacles. So regardless of what happens, I may not be a Howard next year. Y'all may not see me there. But just know that I will be getting my JD and I will be passing the bar and I will be an attorney. So safe to say, stay positive. And y'all see me do it. If I can do it with all the obstacles, you could do it too. All right, y'all, now I gotta get back to work. So I will see y'all when I see y'all. I hope to check in with you later in the summer. All right.